Today I'll show you how to create this stunning slider for your website and if I click on these navigation buttons, images will slide along with the background. Also, when you click here, the indicator changes showing you which slide you're currently on. To make this, all you have to do is create these cards in Elementor and we will do everything step by step so it's easier to follow. Okay, I've got my elements ready and if you want an indicator, then don't forget to add a container here and we'll use this later. So to start with the design, we'll use the testimonial widget. In the widget section, search for it, drag and drop it into this container like this and then center it from here. Now I'll go here and add the images for the slider and disable autoplay in additional options as we don't want this setting. Awesome. Now to make this slider work, we'll add some CSS code. But before that, we have to give CSS classes so that we can target specific elements within the slider for styling. Select the parent container, go to advanced and add this CSS class. Similarly, select the testimonial carousel, go to advanced and add the same CSS class. Now in the custom CSS, we'll use this code which you can get from the description below. If it's not working, don't worry, we can fix this by adding some JavaScript code also listed in the description below. So add the HTML widget here and paste the code. Okay, let's publish the page from here and preview the changes we made so far. Looks fine to me. Next, we'll add the right and left buttons to view the cards. So let's place a container below the carousel and add a button widget like this. I don't want this, so instead, from the icon library, I'll go with this icon. Duplicate the button and change the icon from here. Next, to make this button functional, go to advanced and add the CSS class as this. Similarly, name the other one like this. Let's update the page and check the buttons. And yeah, it works smoothly. Now let's see how we can add the elements for each of these sliders with some really cool effects. First, duplicate the heading five times like this and similarly duplicate the text editors too. To make this work, we'll use some CSS code to make it look seamless. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. So select the container for the headings, Go to advanced and add the CSS class like this. Then under custom CSS, add this code and then in additional options, change the overflow to hidden. Let's update the page and preview changes. Looks good. Now I'll quickly do the same for the text editor and the buttons too. Okay, uh, don't worry about these overlapping text. It doesn't affect the final output. Next, let's add an indicator on the left side. So select the container and increase its height from here. We'll also add custom CSS for this and it's really simple to do. So go to advanced and add the CSS class like this and then paste the CSS code here. Hmm, it looks a bit odd. So let's go back to layout and justify content as space between. I'll also align the items to center from here. Let's update, preview it, looks good. Next, let's add a background image to complete the design. Select the main container, Go to style, select slideshow and add the images. I don't want the images to be in a loop, so I'll disable it from here. Just go here and set the Z index to one and then add the custom CSS code here. Next, for the testimonial carousel, go to advanced and set the Z index to two. Let's go here to add some styling. I'll select the parent container of the widget, go to style and set the background color. Let's quickly change the color of the text like this. Now select the button, go to style, change the background color to white and change the text color to black. Let me quickly add the same changes to other slides as well and do some minimal customization. Let's update the page and yeah, looks fine to me. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.